Well, indeed, Mr. Richards, the universe we live in is one that's filled with splendor, with magic, and a lot of danger, as you've just clearly named and made clear to us right now. Because tonight, the closest that an asteroid has ever come to the planet will occur. And it's, it's quite a scary thing. This asteroid is called DA-14. In order to dispel these myths and to tell us the truth behind the, the asteroid myth is, is Dr. Uh, um, astrophysicist Dr. Uh, Carolina Odom. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. I'm fine, thanks. How are you? Well, I don't know how I should be feeling right now, but maybe you'll settle my heart. Are <laughs> we in any danger tonight at all? Not at all. We're fine. Okay. All yeah. right. So now that we have that, we can breathe a sigh of relief. Yes. Tell us a bit more about DA-14 and what exactly can we expect? Okay. DA-14 is an asteroid. It's a piece of rock that is out in space. And it's coming um, about 27,700 kilometers away from the Earth tonight. So it's a wow. very, very close encounter. 27,000 kilometers away from the Earth. Yes. That is not very far at all. No. I mean, you, you were saying earlier on that it's actually closer than some of our weather uh, satellites that exactly. we have out uh, roaming around in space. Exactly. We have some weather and communication satellites that are about 36,000 kilometers away from the Earth. And this will come 27,000 kilometers from the Earth. So it's about two thirds of the way to the satellites. So how, how big is this asteroid we're talking about? It's uh, 45 meters across. Okay. Um, so half a soccer field, mm -hmm. roughly. Um, size of a building, if you will. So it's not very big, but it's traveling extremely fast. How fast are we talking? About eight kilometers in a second. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Are we going to be experiencing anything kind of adverse on Earth? Are we going to feel, I don't know, gravity going up and down? We won't feel gravity so much because the Earth is so massive compared to this rock, but the rock will feel us. And the effect that's going to happen is that we are going to deflect this asteroid. So its orbit around the sun is going to change. Yes. Because we're there. Would that then potentially pose any danger for us in the future, maybe? No, we're safe. Okay. Absolutely. So how, how often does it actually happen that we have encounters like this where asteroids come so close to us or actually even collide with the Earth? Well, on average, it's estimated that um, every 40 years or so, an asteroid will come about this close to the Earth. And a collision will occur about 1,200 years, something like that, on average. But we don't know where all these guys are. We Why have... not? How, how, how don't we know? I mean, these are asteroids we're talking about. Yeah, yeah. How do we not know? Well, we have to look at the sky. And they're very, very faint. They're rocks, right? So they don't shine their own light. They only reflect the light of the sun. Yes. So you have to point telescopes at the sky all the time and look at tiny little dots that might be moving across. And then you have to follow up on those and then work out whether they're not an asteroid. And if they are, what is their orbit? And if they're endangering us? Yeah. And then if they are, we call them near-Earth objects. So we, you yeah. might actually be looking up into the sky and then making a wish. Meanwhile, you're looking at a potential danger. Um, yeah, you could be. <laughs> <laughs> Those shooting stars, be careful of them. So what would actually happen if an asteroid were to collide with the Earth and we'd have impact? No, this depends on the size of the asteroid. Mm -hmm. If it's like this one, about 45 meters across, it would, well, it would start burning as soon as it hits the atmosphere, the air around the planet, right? And then it would probably explode in the air and it would probably de cause devastation of about two to 3,000 square kilometers across. So it's, a, it's a regional damage. Yes. But it wouldn't cause a crater. It wouldn't actually made to make a dent into the planet. Okay. Uh, so if, if you see, this is South Africa, right? Yes. The, uh, the asteroid is 45 meters across. It's, it's going to be about this close to the planet, if you think about it on That's scale. That's a close shave. But if this is South Africa, 50 meters across, it's not even a speck of dust ah, to this scale. Okay, so yeah. we, we, prob we probably won't even see it then. Or well, no, no, not with the naked eye. Um, it's visible from, well, the best spot to see it is Indonesia. It'll be at night and it'll be in the right direction. Mm -hmm. But only with a telescope or binoculars will it be visible. Wow. Yeah. And so, like you said, this, this happens every, you know, 1,200 years. So how far are we from the possible next collision? Gosh, well, the previous one that we, that we think was similar was in 1908, in 1908. a place called Tunguska in Siberia. Okay. Where um, an area of about 2,000 square kilometers of trees was just flattened. But there was no crater. Yeah. Okay. But it, so, it killed everything in that area. And, and if you had the opportunity right now to have a, a bit of a time capsule, tell, tell people in the future, if it were to collide with the Earth 1,200 years from now, what's the best thing to do when an asteroid is about to collide with the Earth and it's more than just 45 meters across? How do you survive? Okay, if it's uh, <clears throat> 10 kilometers across or so, um, you just say goodbye to your life because then it would cause something like the Fredefort Crater. 
okay. <laughs> the free state, that would itself eject so much stuff into the atmosphere, it would plunge us into darkness for years and years and years. So nothing would grow, we wouldn't have food, and we would just die out. And wow. that's in fact what we think caused the extinction of the dinosaurs 65 million years ago. Wow. Yeah. Okay. But luckily for tonight, we're safe. Tonight, we're safe. Thank yeah. you very much, Doctor. We really Pleasure. appreciate it. But uh, I think just, just in case for the future, uh, great, 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 great grandkids, <laughs> this is your great, great, great grandfather speaking. If this is the time and it's about to happen, I'm sorry. I love you. All right. <laughs> just check out the basement. I'll leave a little, you know, notepad of what to do. But anyway, we're going to head to a quick ad break. Lots more fun coming up on Expresso.